You made it. Welcome to New York. <laughs> that was the longest car ride of my life. I kept looking in the rearview mirror. <laughs> Me too. We don't have to worry about anything here. Sneaking around, I'd do anything to get you home myself. Hmm. You didn't have to lie too much, did you? Enough. Did Brooke suspect anything? I don't think so. Once a great liar, always a great liar. Well, I know it's hard, but uh, it's the only way we'll get to see each other. I had to put on a big smile and tell everybody I was going to a seminar. That make me an awful person. No more so than me. Just isn't saying a lot. What the hell are we doing? I mean, we're not doing this to hurt anybody, right? I certainly hope so. I know when I get through a day without hurting anybody, I actually feel like I accomplished something. Come on. Let's go. Upstairs. I mean, we may be in New York, but I can't say all the things I want to say or do the things I want to do here in the lobby. <laughs> then I suggest that we better go up. them. Hey. Come here for a second. Listen, I know this isn't exactly the uh, honeymoon suite we had in Acapulco, but Oh, no, it's lovely. It's very nice. No, no, Dixie, <laughs> wait, I'm not talking about the place. I'm talking about the situation. I think we're both going to have to try and relax. It isn't easy. Let's do that again. Is there anything I can do to help? How about a hug? Good one. Make things any better? Oh, that was, yeah, it's good. Okay. You no, know, uh, maybe I should go make something in the kitchen. Uh, I'm not hungry. Oh, I'm hungry, and you probably will be soon, so maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just go. would make you say that. I know you do. I haven't decided anything yet. You have. Look, I... Dixie. Listen, I'm sorry if I've done anything to make you feel second best because you're not. No, it's not it. It's not it. It's just, I... I suggested this. I know I did. I set up the ground rules. You saying you went out? No. I'm not. It's just... I thought that... this time together would be enough for me. I thought I'd be able to survive on the few hours that we could spend together. But I can't help it. I want more than this. I don't know what I can do. I'm totally pressuring you. I've been pressuring you no, and pushing no, you lately. I'm trying to stop. No, you're not pressuring me. You never pressure me. You, 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 you hardly say a thing. Maybe I haven't been saying it in so many words, but I really feel like you see it on my face the way I look at you. I mean, you must tell how much I need you, how much I love you. I know this is as hard on you as, as it is on me, and I'm just I'm making this all worse. Oh. No, you're not. I don't talk about making things worse. As an example, you should try acting like I did when I found out, you know, you were married to Brian. Well, it was different. No, it wasn't. It's exactly the same. And you went to great, to great lengths to keep, to spare a lot of people a lot of pain. And all I did was keep, keep running around screaming about, leave him. You haven't asked me to leave Brooke once. Maybe you're not reading my mind as well as I thought you were. 
Listen. I know what you want. I know what everybody wants. The only pressure on me is my own. You're terrific. I'm not forcing you to make any kind of decision, all right? I'm really not. Pixie, if it wasn't for Jamie, you I, I know. I know you love your son, and if you leave him, it, it, it will destroy him, and it, it will decimate work. I just don't think that you're capable of doing that. I saw your picture of Brooke and Jamie. There's got to be a way to work this out for everybody. We'll work it out. You better wish me a lot of luck. I do. I wish you a whole lot of luck. As long as you know how much I love you. And that I never want to hurt you. It's not going to last much longer, Dixie. I promise. Well, <laughs> at least we have time. So, what do you want to do now? I don't want to waste a minute. Oh, I don't care. I don't care where we go or what we do, as long as I'm with you holding your hand. You know, um, it, I was going to say that in spite of everything, this is really worth it. I love you very much. Let's just pretend it's just us, okay? Let's just pretend that Pine Valley is another planet. Okay. For tonight, as far as you and I are concerned, Pine Valley doesn't exist. Beautiful. Where's Brooke? She's not here, Mr. Gray. Do you know where she is? Oh, she just called. She'll be back in about 15 minutes. I'll tell you to stop by. This won't keep. I'll wait. <laughs> 